against OG. The Flowers, who seemingly have dropped a few petals here and there, especially on Inferno. Now, what can they do to recover on Dust 2? We're going to find out. This is going to push up towards the top mid, and we've got Xbox Smoke to start things off with. Heavy presence in the B tunnels here from the side of Big. And just in the back of sight is Nathan, NBK Nathan. Yeah, how could you ever forget about Mr. Schmidt? Mr. Nathan. Here he is, MBK. Ugh. Oh dear, helped out by Alexa B. And MBK trying to take advantage of these blind players moving in, and he will. But gets subsequently dropped. All in all, it's a nice clean pistol round for OG with only Searson finding anything for the big side. And the real hero there is, uh, I think it was Issa creeping in through the lower tunnels there, getting the information. Yes. Alexa B as well on this fast rotation as a result. And uh, yeah, that's going to be OG. Off to a good start here on the map pick of big. Yeah, nothing like setting up for a B play and like, okay, I'll just check lower. I'll make sure they're not here. Oh, they're here. I'm dead. And now they know you're coming. So good luck with that one. Yeah, OG, nice early picks to really whittle down big. And now the forces are in. Eagles and a scout here for big. OG in control of the economy, but, you know, a bit of a SMG-centric buy as it will be in the early stages. Haven't quite moved onto the A1S yet. That thing cheap. Just don't understand. What is cat jam? I'll never understand. I guess you guys wouldn't either. Speaking of jamming things in there, it's going to be big trying to go up catwalk. But they're going to do it in a very hesitant way, enough so that they can back away. They still have a little bit of room to work with as well. However, long control, not there. B, not there. Mid, though. Mid is the vulnerability here. Side of OG. MBK's going to molly off that tunnel's presence for Zantara. So Bigger just going to crunch mid with four, try and get into the site. What a shot. What? Citizen. Okay. So quick with a scout through the door. MBK, the last line of hope and help on this B site. He's got nothing to help him out except a teammate's flash. Killing Zantara is coming through the tunnels. And Alexa B with one more. The bomb has been planted. Citizen's got to hit shots in the post plant, hold it down with a scout. Tapson's caught Alexi, but he can't get the kill. And now they know he's here, peeking the door. Flash goes in. Alexi, not going to peek on the back of it just yet. Tabson double peeked, can't do anything. But Searson's found another with this scout. Searson's scout is so deadly, but he only gets away with the tag the second time around onto Alexa B. It's three in the round for Searson. And a close one. OG narrowly getting that over the line. Now, we've seen situations play out like this on the back of the big force buy where they've kept the force buy wars going based on the results of this force buy round here and now. And yeah, I was going to say, it wouldn't surprise me if we see them keep that up here on Dust. They come in with a buy. Searson had plenty of money. He drops an AK into play and gets given a scout in return, which, you know, is basically an AWP in his hands. Sometimes I even think he looks better with the scout than yeah. he does with the AWP. He's just so mobile with it that it makes him very, very scary. Mantu does have an AWP on the other side. And so now we actually get that head-to-head -head of AWP v scout. Who wins? What's better? Let's see. No rush to it, though. Big get-up catwalk for free. There's a smoke down. Tabson is stuck behind the box. Searson's coming with a scout. Uh, well, Orb is better. Unsurprising, of course. But is Tabson... Galil the best, really? Apparently. Traded now. Issa could get that weapon out of there. They try and nade it towards themselves. It goes a bit closer, but not retrievable for Big yet. Big brain plays. See what it did there? No? Okay, sorry. Nah, man, I don't understand the joke. It's too too big for you. Yeah, it's just way over my head, man. <laughs> Speaking of which, Catwalk Smoke's gonna derail this big plan. <laughs> oh, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, flashes and smoke's going in. And it will be this A play. Big hop down into CT, but Keo not going to live to tell the tale. Neither is Tizian. And here comes Antares, but a second too late. And so Alexa B is still a threat. And in with another. Ooh, 
Ooh, MP9 from inside of the site. Oh, gee, they go 3-0 and up. And big, they force bought in that round there because they got it down to a 1v1 in round number two. While their force buy is, you know, a better force buy than that second round is far less successful. They get one kill and that is it. Alexa B absolutely annihilates them with some supporting flashes from Tabson. You know, he didn't on the other the, team. He didn't mean to get the second one there. Let's be honest with each other. He's just kind of a happy accident. Shout out, Mr. Ross. But he got it done, and I guess that's what matters. OG, hold fast. Back on pistols, big go. Do have some utility here. Be interesting to see what their their setup is, what their play is. It looks like they're hanging around spawn right now. I like this one. What's the game plan here? Hoping for someone to aggress mid, maybe. Nothing coming through, though. Alexa B, Flash, takes a fight. They are blinded. That box crossed out the wrong side as big. Do you want to get up the catwalk? And that has been calmed. Issa peering away from B now as they swap sides. Alexa moving again into the A site. From a Famas to a Galil. Upgrade, you decide. Big. They're going to be able to set up cat smokes and execute on A if they want. Always the chance to drop down into mid to B. They've been keen to do that so far. But OG have had their number on this B-bomb site. Alexa, he has a molly primed and ready to go out when Big throw these smokes. Well, Alexi's having a great game so far. But is he going to be able to keep his head in the game? As Zentares is looking to take it off. But Alexi, just being a nuisance, tagged through the box. Oh. Don't kick it. A man two there to help out now. It's all left on Taquito. A lot of work to do for just one man. And, ooh, Mantu with the jump shot. No scope, supreme. It's a new item coming to the OG menu near you. It's 4-0 and right now <laughs> for the OGs. And, yeah, man. Poor Zantaris, dude. He, he he crouch walks up on Alexi, almost catching a shot. He's holding for a wide swing. Alexi's jiggle peeking. And then as soon as Zantaris looks away, when he probably would have had that kill, Alexi swings back in. Pistols do some damage for OG. Oh, dear. How? What? Searson hits the leg onto Mantu, boosting in the smoke. No way he saw that. Alleluia. Because the big cheese is right here on Catwalk. We're going to see what they've got. Yeah, Flash is going in, and that there allows Keto to get a bit of damage. Get out over here towards Short with the rest of the team in tow. Only right. one for Mantu. There are the rotations now coming in from OG. Question now becomes, how long can Alexi hold down this A site? He's uh, still nearby. Valdez even here as well. Is this going to be a collateral Ooh, waiting so in the ring? Smoke down. Searson ready and waiting. Oh. Dispatches of Alexi and leaves just two players standing for OG. Traps and even then, they're getting hunted, right? They're getting hounded down. This is not a nice safe CT save. No way. This is a very rough spot to be in. Zantares dealing with Issa, that's the AWP dropped, and now MBK, he just wants to stay alive. Is that too much to ask? Maybe. This bomb might kill him here. He's already been tagged. Oh, Sis has got the lock in. Oh, how long does he hang around? Flash in, dodged. MBK, does he survive this? It's a big question. And oh, calculated. calculated. Everyone knows that. Oh. Everyone knows that that was calculated. Oh, he just gets out one. And I can't believe I lived through that. Wow. He knew. <laughs> That's what years of experience does. Yeah, this spot, you take 73 damage. He's like sat there like that gif with all the maths going on around yeah. him. Exactly. If I stand right here, I'm exactly 25 meters from the bomb, and then that'll do 74, and I have 75, so I should just be able to survive this one, guys. You gotta have faith in me. Have oh, snacks are snacks back are out. out. What is it? Got? I'm trying to identify it. Hang on, we cut to. Oh, that's not a snack. Hang on, here we go. That's a snack. Ow. Yeah. That's tea towels out for Zantares. He's someone who used to get sweaty hands a lot, if I remember. Yeah, so that yeah, makes he, a lot of sense. He has a uh, one at land that he's, you know, wiping his mouse every every clutch, every few kills. 
don't want to slip off in a key moment. Oh, there's big on the ball first round. We saw their big smokes earlier, the ones that they actually came up with, uh, the, the give you a headshot angle on the cat cross. This time it wasn't that. It was just a pop flash with OG's double peak getting split in two. Alexi B pushed along and the AWP only gets one on man two. Tearson's already trying to start off strong on this map as he often does. This is a bit of a home ground for him. Antara's faking B again. MBK is close. You can hear this. No footsteps. Only a smoke spam. No heavy reaction from OG. They're not falling for a single bait smoke. Keto, 0-5, looking to take middle. Oh boy, the P250. He's not ready for it. Trying to clear close. This was a little bit tucked in the cubby. He gets the gun out as well. The one man without a weapon has been armed and dangerous. Uh, and is dangerous now, rather. It's big, stuck in middle. Might just want to execute Catwalk, but look who's pushing Catwalk. It's OG. Yeah, mid smoke's gonna get thrown in to try and facilitate this B split. But actually, they divert away from middle in its entirety. The problem they're gonna have is that OG can get this info now pretty easily with these two players on short that no one is in mid. No one's left over towards the tunnels, and so it's likely gonna be one of these B plays. MBK is still very much alone, however, and has to try and hold down this side of the map single-handedly. He's dealt with the first, not quite the follow-up. And so B falls into big control, but Issa oh, wow. catching Searson on the cross. The bomb dropped over to Tapson to try and get this down, but they're not going to make life easy for him. Tizzy and attempts to swing, and Issa deals with Tapson. Really did go for it. Yeah. <laughs> They just, they disallow the bomb plant in its entirety. And I love that decision. You know, they're four on two. If they give the bomb plant over, there's a chance for big. And speaking of a chance, I think that this is my chance to relay some news to you all. As a tweet, because it, it has come down the pipeline in the last 10 minutes. You can head over to at Henry GCS Go. I'll just read it out loud. It comes with the heaviest of hearts that today I'm announcing my retirement from esports commentary. Six years, 150 plus live events, 10 majors, countless memories. Thank you so much for listening. He did an interview with DK. That's Henry G. CSGO. Now, I'm very curious about his future endeavors, but very positive about them as well. Henry G., you're a real one. You're a homie. Will be missed, man. Yeah, I saw everyone saying he's one of the best to ever do it. I think he is the best that's ever done it. Yeah. So you guys learned everything from him. And that Henry actually taught me a hell of a lot, man. I did my first few big events by Henry's side, and then I found my own Henry in Hugo. <laughs> and you know, yeah, like hasn't taught me as much, but <laughs> still kind of around though. Still, so. yeah, he's still here. And that's why we love him. It's the fact that he hasn't quit. He's kind of emulated Henry G in a way. Yeah. You never do it justice. No, never, man. But, you know, you can try. Here's the short play. Oop. Goes kind of both ways. Oh, Searson, another one. And short now split down the uh, the middle almost as we fall into this three on three. The rotations are arriving from B. Molotov out. Lands inside of the site. MBK dropped down in CT. And Searson boosted up and over to be given a bit of a view into this site. And two, still waiting patiently. I wonder if Big will check this. They seem very curious about long, right? Long ramp site. Goose, these are the only positions Mantu can be in, but Zantaras has cleared it out. That only leaves one spot left, even though he doesn't catch Mantu. Now he will, coming out wide. And there's the shot with 10 seconds left. The plant will be allowed. Big. They get it done. Issa might want to save. Money is not good for OG. And he knows Long is compromised as well, so there's not a lot of safety inside of this site. Just exits for Issa. Just do what you can, Issa. Just try to stay alive. On the other side of things, big. Pick up the round. They don't even really have to pressure it. Any more than that, they have a safe escape at Long A. And they're going to net themselves three weapons going forward, one of them being an AWP. Step in the right direction for big. Albeit Keto still yet to frag. Surely that changes sooner rather than later. Five to two, the score. Man, 2020 is weird, huh? Yeah, dude. I just, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna yeah, get dude. weirder, sadly. Uh.
strange times we live in. We've got to make the most, uh, the most of what we've got, I guess. Big certainly doing that, finding a second, building in. OG with a strong start to this second map of the series. They're down one. They don't want to be out as well. Of course, you know, one of the positives of the Pro League here is that it's not, you know, lose two matches and you're, you're done. You're, you're playing all your games. You're fighting everyone in your group. You've got all those head-to-heads. And so plenty of Counter-Strike to watch for every single team here. It's a force up for OG round the AK. They've got pistol armor. They've got a couple of... Uh, or one SMG rather, big going back to long. This is the perfect call into a round like this where there's really no weaponry for OG. That one rifle is on B right now. Uh, no one's even sitting on the long position. So flash it out, big take control. OG double cat reaggression. This is standard. If you lose long, you wanna figure out else where else is clear and they do get that information at least. OG, yeah, right, cool. Screw B, get out of here. It sounds like a long take. It probably is a long take and they're right in that assumption. They set up. All five players on this side of the map. MBK is clearing lower to look for a lurk. And with Cat lower, top mid clear, it couldn't be more obvious where Big are going. OG don't have a kit, so they're going to try and fight through the smoke. Flash in, Sis and catches Mantu on the cross. And Big is sneaking onto the site. OG are about to figure out the hard way. There's one. Are they going to check for Alexi? They don't, but he only gets one. Tapson is there to trade, so Big. Three on the board. They are starting to come back around a big. And you know, as we learn from Inferno, you can't count them out. Searson really starting to find some footing with the AWP as well. That's always a nice sign, sight to see, rather. Nice sign to see. Nice sign to see. And a nice... Nice, uh... Nice, yeah, man. Yeah, nice, nice. yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Nice so, overall. OG, nice with these USPs. They got one flash, and they look to do something strange for a little piece of change over at that B-bomb site. Except for the only change going on around here is the pace from Big. Seems like they found some wind in their sails, and they're going to be cruising up long A. No resistance. OG have finally gotten a whiff of that wind, and now they're going to start to break through to T-spawn. Big being very cautious still, and rightfully so. They don't really know what's going on here and how come they haven't encountered a single soul thus far. Bomb gets planted. And now the creativity needs to come into play here for OG. Oh, All right, well... Just Santara's peak. Come to expect it at this point. It's a domed, and OG are going to try and chase this one man down. They actually have a chance. When I say that, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Oh, dear, the double peak. He gets a lot of damage onto Mantu, but the kill is there for OG, and that's all they wanted. The AK out of the round. Live to fight another day. But regardless, big with back-to-back -back long takes, they've had the answer. It's been this A site. B has been retaken or locked down every time for OG. So big, they found a bit of a solution for the short term. OG now off the back of a force and then a full eco now have guns. Are they going to throw three bodies at long, which is a bit of a standard protocol, try and deal with these early takes. It's annoying as well because big aren't rushing long off the of spawn. And like in this round, they don't have a lot of spawns. They've got Tabsom. But uh, they're rather taking it late with, you know, Flash coming through right through the doors in the mid round. And so, yeah, OG, they, they throw three at long, but it's not like bigger rushing it. And so OG don't want to stay here forever because they know they're losing map control. Meanwhile, Tizian boosted. This won't be an early long take by the looks of things. Big want to default a bit as OG have their next gun round. They will fall away from the triple long setup. Alexia B goes back to spawn. And here's the late Flash, but Tizian's not pushing with it. He's just waiting. And this is going to force OG to dedicate so much towards, lo uh, towards Long that Big can continue to probe and pressure elsewhere. Zantara is smoking himself out, gets spotted, but not killed, not punished. Oh, Alexi into the AWP. Oh, he just sneaks under the smoke, gambling on this triple B setup. And 
this is a big gamble to make because these T's are not going there right now. They're even going to push up, but MBK going for it. No flashes yet. Alexi B's lining one up. The Taurus has his knife out. He's going to jump into their face. Everyone's fine, including the CTs. The flash fully wipes Issa and MBK. Oh, and that's not nice. how you want it to go. Good trade from MBK. Tizian catches long aggressions. So they think it's a B play, but it couldn't be further from the truth. And now the, the kind of jig is up, right? They start to rotate players around through the smoke. They do deal with Tizian. And that fight for Valda is a huge one to win. It opens up the possibility to come through long, but only for a <laughs> second, of course, as CSN is oh. on the angle. As soon as you say something, Harry, and it happens oh, every I'm just, single yeah. time, I just don't understand how you do it. Don't worry, they should be able to get away with these two AKs at least. Just tempting fate now. Seeing if it really is. See if it's true. See if it's true. We're about to find out. You're right. Big are going to hunt them down just a little bit. It's MBK and Alexi B saving in B. And oh. there's one of the AKs. <laughs> Don't worry about it. MBK's good at these. Oh, well, Tapson going to find him. Big, they go 5-5. Five, five. So anything that Harry says, expect the opposite almost. I make it opposite day, whether you like it or not. Every day is opposite day. <laughs> What happened here? Alexi I don't four know. white, Issa and MBK going in. Like, no, I'm, I'm, they just didn't turn, I guess, or, or looked in the wrong place, clearly. You can't really blame the flash. It can only be in one place, and that's in front. I think the ultimate test of the jinx is like with a statement like, there's no way that OG should be winning this round, however, right? They've only got pistols. They'd stack into the long doors, but Tapson's already up and past it. And the flashbangs are very, very good. Tapson just running riot over here outside, and... MBK, the last survivor down in the pit. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's all, though. Issa would have been a spectacle. Would have been a show to put on if he manages to win that round. But it ain't going to happen. And Bigger now in the lead. Remember, there was a time where this was 5-1. So this is a, a hell of a recovery from the big boys. Double up out, I like this for OG, pulling it in as soon as they can, as soon as the money is there. CSN's so got a bit of an issue, and, and that will continue, because this uh, takes a bullet to the chest down middle. Boy, oh boy, just every round starting with an advantage for Big. Back on Inferno, the last round, the last map, OG didn't have a single positive player when it came to those opening kills. Big had so many. Bowda, who struggled in that game, was 0-3 as well, which certainly doesn't bode well for OG. It keeps getting worse and worse. Searson with his shots down mid doors. Mantu, got to watch out. Flash out. Going to push the AWP off. He's got to retreat. He can't hang around in middle. Wants to go back in for more. Big haven't actually pushed through, and he knows that due to the Molotov. So Flash with the scope, but Big are already up and past him. They get the bomb up onto the catwalk. And Big have just had all the room in middle to maneuver where they want. Whenever OG have tried to get aggressive, they've been punished for it. Pushing long, Tizian boosted, pushing Bs and Torres holding with his knife out sometimes. And now Big setting up a mid to B execute. The What's bomb is up catwalk. This is all a little ruse. And Keto, he sells it right to the bitter end. Now into this four on four. But look at this, OG, they've fallen nice. for it. Hook, line, and sinker. They realize now the error of their ways, but realizing too late has left them in a pretty unideal situation. Four on four, and OG, a very uphill battle to say the very least, and they might just save. They're already leaning away from this. They've got a double AWP in the retake, which it's like having a fork to eat ice cream with. It works, but it's just not ideal, is it? And so even though they get that kill, even though they're in a four on three, OG is still like, nah. This one's done. Yeah, that kill comes and they're so far away already. And the fact they don't have a kit is, is the killing blow, right? You know that defuse is twice as long. So big, they're just not going to give you the time. They're going to tuck in and wait. And even though there's another hunt and a trade, Tizian can afford to chase. He gets punished by Valde and lower. And it's going to be a round for big nonetheless. Valde gets out with six, repeating what MBK did best as well.
But yeah, this is a, that's a bit of pill to swallow for OG. What else can you really do there? You're, you're already leaning away. Big did a great job of pulling those rotations off of the A site. You'll notice that they contact short as well. They don't run up and give away the info. The first info OG have that's not B is, is when they get the kill in the doors, they only see one mid to B player. They start watching tunnels. There's no commitment. And then suddenly a molly comes down from Cat into CT, trapping you in the spawn. And you just go, well, what can we even do? We're, we're down. Down. We've got two orbs. We've got no kit. Big have the A site, and they even have a long as well, where the bomb is planted for. So, and no getting back into that bomb site for OG. And luckily, the save does allow a big old buy in this round. But right now, the Germans leading by two, and looking to make that a little bit more extravagant as well. They've got all the money behind them. Yeah, it's like the old saying, you know, if the going gets tough. Wait for the toughness to die down and try it again later because that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the strategy right here for OG. They've just they saved up, they keep everything into this round. But the thing that's scaring me a bit is like more and more respect is being given to Big as they are extending this lead. And we saw what giving Big that respect can do back on Inferno, right? Where they just got dominated on the side of OG in that second half. And already this is kind of falling in a similar fashion. Seven rounds there consecutively for Big to round that one out. Well, right now they're on six. They're looking to break their PB. Let's see. Talking about PB in terms of personal best. Could be PB and J if CSM makes a meal out of this shot here. Yeah, let's see. I mean, then the real question is, are you, you cutting it diagonally or just straight in uh, half? Who yeah. really knows? Oh, yeah, that's, in half, you're wrong. That's personal preference, Harry. Just saying. Sandwiches taste better, cut diagonally though. That's science. Yeah, sure so, thing. Over here in middle. And he's not trying to cut it sideways or, or, or anything. He's just going straight through the middle of it. Up into this site now. And MBK in the window. Flashed in for a peek. Actually deals with Tizian in that CT smoke. Yeah. But MBK all in vain, of course, as everyone inside of the B site <laughs> has just been obliterated. It wasn't even fair. It didn't even look fair. Not even in the slightest. It's Keto, the one in shining armor this round. Some could say he helped to split oh. the bomb site in half, like a sandwich. Tearson's not done. He said, you know what? I'll throw this off to the Wolves. Yeah, I mean, it's a small victory for OG, and it's so small they don't even want it. Valde stays with the M4. Maybe he'll swap out later when the bomb goes off, but... Yeah, it looks, uh, looks like OG don't want that double orb. Issa got uh, beaten by Searson last time he had it in middle. Oh dear, Mantu. Look at him go. He's just going for the ace, mate. This round's already done. He just wants to send a message. Mate falls short. Mantu goes deep. And the cover from Valdi is great. So it's no worry for OG. That being said, it is a worry for OG. Eight rounds for big, right? Like, we're just hyping up these saves, but it's the executes that are perfect. Even though Keto uh, gets flashed off close construction and allows the player in window to kill Tizian on that boost in CT, Keto still shut it down. He still gets a trade and then further entries into the B site. I know what you're looking at, Trace. I saw it as well. <laughs> just kind of curious. I just... Yeah. Fan cams continue to enlighten. They deliver every single yeah. time, don't they? ESL.gg forward slash fan cam. Get involved. Yeah. Go hang hey, out on Discord. Actually, you actually spent a lot of time there. What's it like? What are the uh, what are the folks in there like? The, okay, the easiest way for me to explain this would be imagine going to a traditional sporting event yeah. and sitting somewhere towards the top of the rafters. Maybe yeah. like we'd call them the nosebleeds or something. Yeah. A uh, very diverse crew. A very fun crew, though. You made some lifelong friends from it? I might have. Some of them might even have admin in my Discord now. Ooh, so there's that's that. pretty cool. Yeah, there's And trusting, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. Give <him> a risk. <laughs> Give the people what they All want. All right, man, I'm sure I could trust him. He was at those fine caps. Yeah, of course. Saw that one time. No, they hooked it up proper, and I do appreciate yeah. that. You guys are welcome to join my Discord, too. Cheers, man. Maybe not today or anything, oh. but... Yeah, it's just Mother somewhere time. down the line. Here we yeah. go. Valde. This is dead. He's looking to cause some... Oh, no. Okay. All right, Valde. Yeah, go on, buddy. Gets away with three before Searson trades it. But now it's a two on four. Valde recovers well, considering he almost got caught with utility out. That looked like it was all going to fall apart. Searson has retrieved the bomb. And Zentares, when he's shooting off shots like that, that makes me a little uncomfortable, makes me a little scared. And that's why we kind of look towards Alexa B to get things back under control. Now left on to Searson. 1v3, running the gauntlet in mid with this smoke drop behind him. MBK not going to be able to find 
him, but he does through the door and through the smoke. So OG, they they actually do get that round, right? As SAMBK hasn't been able to get there in time, he gets there in time. Opposite day continues here at the SL Pro League Season 12, day number four now. And this half is coming to a close as well. Big hold from Valdi. And that's certainly something that OG needed in this round. He's happy about it. OG fans happy about it. Flowers blossoming. And now the Dak Daks are out as Keto. He was hungry for some kills earlier on. Doesn't find any success with that auto sniper. That does send the bomb packing towards the B site. Or at least in the tunnels for the time being. Big one to net themselves nine before the end of the half. Santaris has been constantly throwing this lurk smoke. I don't think MBK is going to start to worry about it. The, the danger is because he's been throwing it on, on fake rounds when Big have been up catwalk and going for A splits. You know, seeing it now, MBK might go, yeah, yeah, Santaris, he does that all the time. It's just normal. Luckily, the Molly forces a smoke out of his hand anyway. And so OG won't be fooled by the utility of Big. Not yet, but here it comes. Second smoke. That just start to ring some warning bells here for OG. They should start to get a little bit worried. They've lost middle. The smoke has been down. The call has been made. Great Molotov. Tapson's pushed to the back of construction. The Whoa. entry is there, but traded by MBK, who can't hold for more than one. Searson even cutting off the rotation through the middle smoke. And OG are getting smoked in this round. Four on two. The barrel should spell the demise of Searson. And that it does, but is this retake attainable? It's got to be a, uh, an attempt here from OG in the last round of the half. And two, three taps and peeking from the scaffold is going to fall to Alexi B, and that's going to pose a Molotov to drop in the doors. Santeros and Keto now need to defend this bomb. More Molotovs coming in. The timer's starting to tick down. Just dumping utility over here, trying to thwart this retake from OG. TikTok, that time is ticking down, oh. and Keto's got the headshot. He's been so clean in this game. Man two in the clutch. Got to be quick. That bomb's already ticked. I don't think it's doable. Zantaris stalling for as long as he can, and it's just enough to find nine. Big in control of their map pick. It may have been a slow start, 5-1 down, but they turn it around and look to take this series in a 2-0.
Straight from the trunk and no way for an answer Wish we could smile when shit's rough nowadays Change our reflection Feelings don't die around this neighborhood We used to sell a double pills, young and misunderstood My homie, tell me what is changing from your point of view A smaller circle, but the range is so some deja vu I recognize my future, and there is nothing with you Unless you turn your boat around, success might come recruit you But unless you analyze in depth, that we're steps away from death A thousand possibilities, act on it <laughs> There's not a Sarah in sight, but there's certainly a comeback on the cards right here. Big doing exactly the opposite of everything that Harry Russo says. Not to be confused with Harry Russell, who happens to be sitting right next to Hugo Byron, who's also sitting next to me. And we are ready to get this one underway. Nine to six here in the first half of play of Dust 2. And this is the second map of the series. So we're going to see if Big can close the door on OG. Here for the ESL Pro League Season 12. We are just getting this season started. But of course, news all the time all day long 2020 just keeps on delivering let's see how this pistol round fares out perhaps just a shocking serious and peeking off catwalk tons of damage being exploded onto the og side now they're gonna work their way and that grenade is not gonna help either they have been just chipped away and beaten up it's like a game of tower defense the way they're just getting pulled apart and as i say that the opposite happens nbk nathan schmidt comes up huge the trades are there now we're down to a 2v4 yeah, this has gone very, very wrong, very, very quickly for Big in this round. Santares and Quito. Issa is low at short, and so maybe that gives Santares a way to get back in. But it, yeah, well, no, never mind. Quito, though, just going to look to try and save. And he should at least be safe to get away with this USP. The comebacks continue. And yeah, this is kind of what I was excited for. OG's T side on this map. It may be Big's bread and butter, but it's not one that OG have ever uh, stayed away from. And it likes to be a bit of a classic. So let's see if this comeback can have any legs behind it. Big, do they force in the second, right? They could buy around Keto's armor. It's not a lot. And the sooner you know the guns come out, if they just eco this, they're going to have a full buy in the next round. And you know OG are going to be stuck with a bonus. That's one temptation, but Big have always been keen to force, <laughs> especially on the CT side. Pretty much everyone does nowadays. So double scout, let's see what it's about. Uh, you know, I, I share some of Zantaris' pain there. In freeze time, ultimately, I do also get a little flustered. But I do queue with you guys a lot, so that might explain a few things. Yeah, man. Well, you're the best flash thrower there is, Trace. Did it for you guys. You always know how to make us look good. Or at least highlight you guys. <laughs> oh, this is a weird fight. You don't see this every day. Who wins? Zantares or MBK? My money is on MBK. So is Zantares. I got one right. Nice. I did it. It's broke all the fine. I broke the curse. And now oh. the A play coming in. Speaking of breaking things apart, it's OG just breaking into this A site. Okay. A lot of damage from Keto, but getting much more done is pretty much impossible here. And so holding on to the armor and this scout becomes pivotal now. Can he get away with it? OG, they aren't looking to let him get away with it. If you look at that minimap, I'd be I'd be terrified right now. Like they are everywhere. They are at every avenue trying to trap you into B. They've cleared out lower tunnels. They've cleared out upper tunnels. They've cleared mid. They know that he is here. So Keto, he's getting rushed down by five men. And while he does deal with Alexa B, the trade is in for Valder. OG, eight on the board. Nothing for big in this round that's coming up. And so this should get tied up pretty quickly. Yeah, the scout forces make sense, but when you're up against a T side that's just going to be grouping like that and trading their way into A from long, it's never really going to go your way if you're big. And now you have to take another breather and give OG that room. They're already winning in the opening duels in this map. They were 8-7 in favor of the halftime uh, in the first fights, despite big being up 9-6. So that shows something for OG. 
something to rely on, to fall back on. Players like Keto, uh, while they're often, you know, uh, t thrown to the Wolves, maybe going in first. He is 0-4 in those opening duels. He had a couple of great rounds, though. So that's a bit of a surprise to see that stat there. Uh, maybe it can all turn around on this CT half. Right now, it's Antares dead on Cat in the smoke. And really, no chance for Pink to get too much done. As it gets caught, it could have been finished off down to 13, but support coming in from lower, and Big don't want to force the issue. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Alex. Jump shot again, man. Another one. I don't know, man. Alex to be is a good player, but something is not really. Well, that's a, that's a nice round. Four stay alive for OG. And if they do want to make this comeback happen, they need these clean rounds and they've got them. So that's always a good feeling. But now we have this initial investment to come through from big. I do think, you know, Searson is going to be a guy to keep an eye on here, especially with Mantu on the other side, not bringing an AWP into the... Uh, no, he is bringing an AWP into this round here and now. So that's what's exciting. That's what I was always going to say. This head-to-head -head between the two AWPs, especially now with the uh, the roles reversed, because it did feel like Searson getting the better of OG a little bit there towards the end of that first half. Fast mid play. And maybe even just a B split right out of the gate. That'd be quite the way to uh, go into your first rifle round. They sneak out into middle. They haven't seen anything yet. Searson's going to have to flick down. And he landed that. One HP as well at the end of it. Flash goes over into middle. Zantares didn't see yeah. that someone was close. That could cause some problems. He spotted players at bottom mid, but he still doesn't know that Alexa B was right here. Keto Ooh. dropped and Zantares falling immediately after, but Tabson's dropped the bomb. It was late out of mid, leaving Tizian and Searson in this two on three. Maybe it's doable. East is keeping an eye on the tunnels. And oh, Tizian didn't see him somehow. And now just one HP, Searson up against it all, and one shot is all that is required. OG, they lock in round number 10 as they now retake this lead since that 5-1 scoreline. That was the last like lead that we saw them have, and then immediately Big just chained together round after round to retake the lead. Now OG are back in it. He plays for Issa, right? From, from getting the uh, entry into B to even like safe locking down the tunnel flank. He doesn't peek into Tizzy and he waits for Tizzy to over aggress. He knows he, he's covering his teammates despite being passive and then even cleans up Searson in spawn. Big. That one's going to hurt, especially for Keto. He dodges the flash, looks back to the door and still gets entried. Santaras, he was never to know there was a player close either. His jump spots only saw players at the bottom of middle. Everything went right there for OG. Oh dear, even getting wall banned. It's easier now. He's out of there, alive and well. OG, back to middle. Catwalk is theirs and the A site will surely follow as Big don't have the weaponry to hold back in this round. Maybe a strong map for Big, but OG... They want to make it three. They want to bring us to Nuke. And losing this round would throw a bit of a spanner in the works. So things are safe as they cross up into A using Big Zone utility against the Tapson. Oh dear. MBK's burning. Oh. Tapson with the Ds. He's got two. He's done damage as well. MBK a shot away from no. death. And Tapson goes out for a little bit more. He can't see the man no. on the side, but he's got it. And Searson covers with a P250. This oh. round has fallen apart for OG Big. Four alive at the end. More lead out with Zantaras, but that is not a worry. They've just won an eco. Tabson's Deagle is just something terrifying, man. It's ridiculous. Ooh. There's a cat on your mouse pad that you're trying to oh, play. Get it out of here. Get it out. <laughs> a unique problem to have with the online play, but we true, do see. Uh, a true cat jam, if you will. Yeah. That's the thing, man. You know, I know that cat owners frequently have that problem. <laughs> Yeah, oh, MBK, man. he has been struggling over towards the catwalk as well. So let's see <laughs> how this round pans on out. He does try and peek it from the lower tunnels. Oh, dear. Tara's like, cheers for that. 
Thank you. Long control's taken for OG as well. And Big are just hounding down this one player in lower with three on cat. They've got a very good idea of what's going on in this round. Clearly with this setup, an early rotation from Keto as well. And OG, they think they're being so sly. They think they're being so tricky here. But look at this, Big have read them like a book. No. Double smokes go down. There's the Molotovs in response. And already, if you're OG, you're like, right, two mollies. Not a fan. There's a flash. We dodged that. We were ready for it. Oh, there's another molly. Now you're thinking, okay, there's at least three looking this way. You're not loving it, but you're committed. And you've got to get in there. So Alexi leads oh. by example. And Mantu burns to death in the short molly. Citizen, rather. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> Bye, man, too. Yeah. He's still alive and kicking. He's still on the AK. Remember. It's Tapson on 10 HP from earlier, picking up the orb. He's flashed his teammate in. And Torres with a Ooh. shot onto the head of Issa. There's still two players in the site and a further one at long. Tapson waiting. If he gets peeked from Goose, he's dead. Do they check Mantu? Zantara's looking uh, both ways, both angles. Oh, dear. They're getting closer. And Mantu's not going to wait. Valde with a Ow. shot. And tapping down Keto has left Tapson on retreat, giving OG the benefit of the doubt, giving them the round great execute for og considering big not only got the opening kill to keto and lower from uh not from keto from Zantara's and lower but then even knew where that one was going up you said it yourself the triple molly the volley of flashes and og they still take the round against all the odds it was that entry from alexa b tizzy and peeked out very late off of the flash this and sets him up he gets blinded but then swings afterwards and just walks into the waiting alexi a little more patient, could have got a lot more value for that position as the orbs were trapped on catwalk and OG molly them back. Double orb again for big. They desperately want these opening kills and they're going to take them towards long. Thompson face to face with Valder. And as support from Tizzy and that nade combined with the spray leaves MBK in such a bad spot. But still, he's able to deal with Tizzy and all right, MBK, he's not messing around. Can he get any more though? It does feel unlikely and Tabson gonna rid us of MBK. Now OG setting up for a mid to B by the looks and only Keto here with this AWP. Mid smoke, so these players can't help Keto at all. He is really in a rough spot here, trapped at the back of the site. OG. Oh, Satara's gonna get ahead of the smoke down in middle. Wow. He's delayed this play. He slowed it right down. Alexi with the AWP joining up now with Issa. Keto had the read, but Issa's got the speed. And now this AWP on Alexi trying to do damage oh, does land the tag onto Zantares. Tabson fast in through the tunnel and deletes Issa at the first hurdle. Alexi back of the site, a lot of work to do. And he's pinned in. Oh. Tabson gonna send it home as big lock in 11. Four from Tabs in the tank, carrying big through this one. And he has some, some great shots here as well. Issa, he's, he's had a lot of success holding onto the tunnels and those post parts as we've seen for OG, but Tabson is not going to make the same mistake and uh, just deletes him from the round. Even that flash as well, the, the, the flash bounces at the back of the plat and fully blinds Alexi while also remaining safe for Tabson to peek with it. Oh, just clinical yeah non-surgical almost spam back there's no safety there's no freedom nowhere to go really... you you can't really do anything right there you do peak you die don't peak you and die he lands and yeah well, this one's competitive as can be 11 to 11 and the pace has been turned up here from og they're going to be sprinting up catwalk no one's there to answer the call either it's big of elected to play on long this round very weary of what could be a mid presence as well. Tabson has posted himself up there towards CT spawn. And he's got the drop on the mid doors. But you haven't really formulated what they wanted to do in this round just yet. So early days. MBK's gun choice fascinates me. I feel like I never see the MP5 in pro games ever. This is reason. Would you rather have an MP5 or a Tech 9? MP5. Tech 9. I think Tech 9. I'm a big MP5 fan. Well, Let's see what MBK can accomplish with it. It's never purchased because it's pretty bad. Yeah. I was yeah. waiting for someone to say it. You know, I was going to, if not. Got to be honest with these things. MP7's better, in my opinion. All right. So they've got the smokes down on both sides of middle. That's going to give them the option to sort of get out a little bit further, not have to worry about window. 
which is exactly where Keto's playing with the AWP. Albeit they garnered that second op in the last round. This looks like a B pinch. They're gonna be splitting it. Three from the tunnels and two from middle. Here's Keto with the first shot on Alexi B. And he knows what's going on here. Zontaris is gonna have to help out in a big way. And he can't. It's a too quick. Keto, now your time to shine. Oh. Landing another shot. Can he do it? Yes, he does. Another one before he dies. Valde eventually putting a stop to that madness. No G are looking to put up a 12. Two to two. Quick through the doors, he's been constantly hitting those tags, and that's actually cut off the rotation of big. They're down to a two on two. This is not easy. Valdi's gonna time his swing. Sears and making noise. He could get caught, and he does. Switching oh. weapon. It's Tizian now flashing through. He could buy Mantu, and he's done exactly that. Quick shot. He knows Valdi was in the window. He's read it well, swapping sides to the mid doors, and Tizian's gonna try and hound him down. Oh dear, this one will come close. Oh, and Valdi man. swings for the win. Three from him, and the AWP saved. Oh gee. They love this B bomb site, and they they never they never rush the plant. Whenever they get in, they're always a man down, but somehow manage to either equalize it or do some damage or take a player down from big and make their op, uh, odds a little bit better. Keto man, some big shots, but Zantaris is trapped to the car and he's just able to get peeked from the door. Keto didn't realize there was a second player up close. He killed the first. Sneaky, sneaky, out through middle. OG, oh, they take one. MBK, he keeps the MP5 as well. He buys it back up. Pistols out for big. They lose a man along. That is a catastrophe after the damage comes from grenades. Searson will pick up a kill towards the top of the middle. And Zantaris is fighting for his life. He's done it. OG again, a man down. But they've overtaken the A site. And this is where the SMG should come into play, uh, killing the armorless players, or at least a lack of head armor. And uh, now a retake on for big with no kit. Nice shot from Searson. He's set very low over towards Kat, and he's going to be hard-pressed to survive this fight. MBK, MP5, not going to find anything. It's 12 on the board for big. This is such a close series, or game, rather. You know, Inferno, we can kind of forget about that one. That one ended up being not so close towards the end. But here on Dust, man, both teams fighting tooth and nail to keep this in their favor. Once again, Big get it done in like a very low economy round to keep this all tied up at 12 to 12. And you can see the frustration. At least Alexi's smiling. He's got a great smile. You love yeah. it when he's doing it. Oh, that's a, it's like a, it's not a keytar. It's like, what is that thing called? Keyboard? Yeah, but he's like blowing air into it. So it's not necessarily like a normal keyboard. Why? It's almost like a... Man, I can't think of it. <laughs> like an accordion, but yeah, maybe kind not. of. But like your, I, I, mean, I didn't see it. So it's I'm like just, a bagpipe accordion no, guitar saw, like, all the time. Yeah, man. Time. Maybe it's a breathalyzer. You got to be sober <laughs> to play the keyboard. Ah, yes. Hmm. People think. Hito holding on to the tunnels. Can he give us another spectacle? Oh. Lots of damage from Zantares. And now Keo given another chance here to churn it up at B, but he's only good for one. And that is now an AWP put into the hands of Alexi. Tabson moving in quickly, trying to isolate this one fight. And the swing from Alexi doesn't connect. 13 for big. And that time, they don't waste a round. Yeah. Wait, waste a round? Waste the time. They're very quick on the rotates. They barrel in as that plant's coming through. And they give no room to OG. Yeah, the key difference there is OG need the plant, right? That's their focus of the round. And so they don't do what they usually do, which is delay it and look for those fights. They know the big usually have close rotations. They get very, very fast towards the doors. But it's usually man to just shutting it down with the orb on that rotate. And uh, well, that's not going to come through because OG just wanted to focus on getting that $800 bonus. They get it but they won't convert because Big are already through the door. Like you said, always crunching in these advantage positions, always making sure they put on the pressure. And Mantu's done the same. Mm -hmm. He will get traded. Another orb for Tabson. What? Searson, Searson, Searson's got one as well. There's two in play. Swapped out from the body of Keto. And Tabson runs right back as OG set up towards short. They won't commit. Long flash is going out too, but with Tizian having that smoked off, he knows it's clear. OG going back for what I assume would be a late B play, but they got everyone up on catwalk right now. They had the position to execute and they choose against it. Yeah, the slowdown's actually pushed this and back into the B bomb site. He doesn't want to hang around in the middle. And in the timings that he crossed to A, they could have actually gotten, you know, past him on mid and into the tons. 
They may still do so, but OG look like they want the ace site right now, and that would be the right call. Tabson's pushed on long. He can come back and fight on the car, but as long as OG use their smokes, and two, two they have, they can cut them off pretty well and try and get a bomb plant, leaving players on cat to pe play the post plant. MBK tagged up with the orp off of the body of Mantu. And this double orb could be a hindrance in the retake for big. We'll have to wait and see. Well, that was a time where Tabson loved to find himself with this orb. And so let's see what he can bring to the table. Oh. Spots Valder hopping down. Is he ready for another man in CT? Almost a flick. That's where oh. Tizian was meant to trade, but Issa could have just torn this round away from big with that double entry. Searson and Zantares, do they want to give this a go? Look at how low they are. Yeah, Zantares is like, I'm good. But <laughs> that's the thing, right? It's such a shame that they're never going to know the HP on these players. This, this could have been a very doable round. Admittedly, the double AWP in the hold makes it a lot harder to get back into. And so big, they're just trying to play by the numbers. And that's the thing. They could have risked it all in this round. You know, they could have gone for this. But then if it doesn't work out, looking in the future, things get a little bit worrisome for big. Whereas saving now keeps avenues open into the late game. And I think big have had to come to terms with the fact that this is going to be a long map. Like this is not one that ends immediately. This is going to be very back and forth because it has been all dust long. Crucial entries from Issa. The fact that he gets away with two there just removes Big out the round with no way of getting into play. It's OG again, keeping it neck and neck. What else would you want here? This series has been so close. Well, this map again, I keep saying series because it does feel like it, but despite the strong T side for OG back on, uh, on Inferno, it was the CT half that fell apart. Big, they are experiencing the same issues, but Searson with a quick shot takes down MBK and does further damage to the second. Alexa B on 15, gonna run into the tunnels to avoid utility from middle. Count Molly back, so they know Big can't push, but Tizian takes it elsewhere. He will take a bullet to the face. Aggression that's gonna punish Big in this round is Valdi was holding on to it. He's been waiting for those plays all half long. And finally they come through in a crucial swing round where Big's money is on the line. That was a kill they really needed. Tabson looking to fill the void. He's had some great kills in this matchup and he's going to continue. Valdi's gone back to a three on three. Long re restored and retrieved. He won't push any further to try and flank this mid play, but he will go back to support Zantares on the A site. Oh, Zantares and Tabson. A tale as old as time here in the A site. Nade could destroy Alexi, but he's just short of it. Now they should realize that there's two players here. Oh. Tabson tries to flee, and it's his decision to run away that actually gets him killed there. Mollied out of the position with players moving in. Keto on this rotate, but he's made a lot of noise going up. Now, Santara's here in the footsteps over on Catwalk, and Keto taking a bit of a gamble with the long wrap around. Santara's oh. looking for the head oh, and no. the jump shot wow. to end it all. Santara's 14 for big on the back of his bounding around in CT. Beautiful stuff. You love that. Ta I can't believe Tabson gets caught there as well, right? Mollied off in the site. He felt safe. He had a second. Zantares throws in a further molly. It slows OG down. And Keto's not even needed on that flank. Zantares, he's just, he, he doesn't have X-ray, by the way. He's flicking between both players expertly as that orc backs up. And then they jump to close it all. Even to deny the bomb plant for OG up against 14. That's massive. It looked like it was going to be big losing their money. It's the inverse. It's the opposite. It's OG who are on pistols here. Double scope for Sears and they're close. He's got to be careful. A flick may be needed. He's running towards B. So are the T's. Keto, he's had three Ks from this position before. But Zantares is already dead and Keto needs more. He's only got one. Quick through the door is Searson. Trying to stop oh. the front. MBK with a missed shot. The bomb's in the open. Searson's low. It's all over the place. A bigger just trying to suffocate MBK. They do exactly that. They don't give him the room. And 15 to 13, big on match point right now. It felt like this one had legs on it to be a third, but big shutting it down at the most important point. Ah, uh, now it all comes to memory. I think it's called a, like a melodica or something. Well, you know, if I, I can only assume that the way that you said that shows that maybe <laughs> Melodica it, now. It's called a Metallica or something. Metallica. It's a band, bro. No, dude. 
No, oh, man, just play the guitar. It's lit. Guitar. <laughs> Need to borrow 80s themed jumpsuits. Oh, yeah. Jumping into this one will be OG. Not really a whole lot of room to run there, do they, Hugo? No, no, it's his in the pit. He's got the cross from an off angle. Can't Ooh. get another. Tapson's going to stop them from grabbing the gun, at least temporarily, as they uh -oh. split catwalks. Tizian loses his head. Tapson's so blind. Oh, no. Great utility. And this game's got legs on it still. The Deagles might be able to do it all. Yes, yeah, Searson gets flashed off, and maybe it just wasn't communicated to Tapson in time because he gets Ooh. wrecked from the players getting by it short. Big have got to save, and OT, it's oh. back on the menu, oh. baby. 14 rounds yeah. as OG get it done in this force buy. They were up against it all, and they've somehow emerged swinging. I'll tell you Just how, Harry. One round deciding it all. MBK and Alexi B making that a reality. Nice shot there from Goose with that scout by MBK. Whatever foot they had back in the doors on Terra's, that is. What just gets crushed. You notice OG aren't going to be overly aggressive in hunting these weapons. They need them for themselves, of course. But it has come down to the wire. Next round will be it. Will we be going to overtime or will Big shut this series down in the second half of Dust 2? I can't believe OG won that round. That's unreal. They hit every perfect timing. They catch Big looking the wrong way. The flashbangs are good. Some banging shots. This scout kill from MBK denied the retake. If that's a kill for Big, they give it a go. They throw everything at it. But now, with two up, they have to save for the future, an uncertain future at best, with an overtime on the horizon. And even then, sometimes more play around the corner. Nuke is our third map of the series. If we get there, OG need to drag us kicking and screaming into the third. Happy Gaze is like a padded room. Is he in like a... He's been like sectioned or something. Like that's what that's what OG have had to do. Just coming up with too many mental ideas. And Alexi was like, right, Nathan, we're gonna send you somewhere. It's fine. You'll love it. Nice and comfortable. And now MBK's fragging out of his mind. So maybe that's what he needed. Bit of restraining. 14 to 15. And big coming in with the force by. It's an AWP on Searson. It's an auto shotgun for Keto. And MBK is still donning the scout. And there's Searson opening the round up. Now, OG have done so well to pull this back to this scoreline, but it all hinges on this one round. Keto oh, with the dear. auto shotgun dispatches of Issa and leaves big in the advantage. A five on three oh, and another no. for Keto striking from these lower tunnels. They catch a timing on Samantu and all this effort for OG, it just might be in vain. Valde. 1v4, 1v5 rather, the world against him. And a big world at that, as he's now trying to navigate his way through this round. No information where anyone is. The bomb dropped in middle. This should be impossible, but Valde opening Ooh. up with a double. 14 HP remaining, and Big plenty of time to reposition. Searson's going to take the fight, and Big close out this series.